Hey, what's going on guys? Brian coming to you from the TST Garage where we've got your back, whether it's street or track. And today we're gonna be performing the installation of this gorgeous Yoshimura Works Finish RS2 full system stainless steel exhaust on this 2017 Honda Grom. We decided to go with this exhaust because we had previously installed a carbon fiber rear hugger and a carbon fiber front mudguard. And we thought that the carbon fiber accent on this canister here would just really complement everything that we've got going on on the bike already. The installation of this is gonna be really quick and easy. We're actually going to refer to a previous video where Bart removed the OEM exhaust just to make this a little bit quicker and easier. Once that exhaust is off, we're gonna jump back to the table. I'm gonna start the assembly of the exhaust up here and then we're gonna to move to the bike and get it all done. Let's jump right in. All right, so the first step here will be the removal of the OEM system. Now, Honda engineers really did us a solid here. Everything every fastener needed to extract this OEM system off the bike is a 12 millimeter head. We will start by loosening all of them and then we will remove them in a predetermined order. So the stud bolts that protrude out of here are capped off with 12 millimeter nuts. These will have to be loosened. Then we will loosen this bolt and nut connection here in the back attached to the rear set and finally we will loosen this screw here that attaches the catalytic converter to the frame and also the screw on the left side of the bike which is on the same axis as this screw uh, just on the opposite side of the bike so let's start with the head here like i said first we are just loosening everything I'm using a 12 millimeter socket and 12 millimeter box on the other side. All right, that's loose. I'll get a longer extension here and it's easier to reach. And so I got this guy loose. I'm gonna loosen the other side. That's the last screw, last fastener. It needs to be loosened. And since I have all of them loose already, I'm just gonna continue to extract this left side fastener. All right, so I'm gonna remove this one as well. These actually screw into threaded features on the frame, so there's no other fastener that will pop out when you remove these. All right, so I'm gonna continue here. Get these nuts completely off. And now you guys can probably notice that this is just hanging on that rear connection here off our peg location, so. Remove that now. All right. And there you have it. This is the OEM system. We're going to weigh it for you and compare it to the weight of the new system that we're installing. It feels really, really heavy. So this should be a nice little performance upgrade for the bike, not only in the sense that you will be producing more power, because on these little bikes, it's essentially riding lawnmower with a sport suspension. You're not gonna make that much more power, but the weight savings is really the big performance upgrade on these bikes. All right. All right, guys, with the removal of the OEM exhaust done, we could go ahead and actually start working on the Yoshimura system. I'm gonna set the canister off to the side for now. I don't need that for a little while. And we're gonna start in the two halves of our header pipe. You're actually gonna to wanna to assemble these before you put them on the bike. You wanna line up those spring clips and make sure that the portion going back to the actual canister is below the portion that goes up to the headers. So just like that, they will slip in with a little bit of interference fit there. And we are gonna to wanna to take this spacer that's included, larger flange toward the header side, and actually insert that in between the two. With that inserted there, we're gonna go ahead and move over to the bike. We need our 
bolt that will actually secure to the, uh, the chassis, the chassis mount bolt, and then we're gonna need our two header nuts that came off of the OEM exhaust manifold. So let's jump right into that step. All right, so with the OEM exhaust removed and the Yoshimura system partially assembled, we're gonna go ahead and show you guys the weight difference because it is actually uh, quite a bit different. You do save a lot of weight switching from the OEM to an aftermarket exhaust. So we're gonna go ahead and weigh the OEM. Let's see if I can't get this guy to balance. Coming in at 10.9, so just about 11 pounds for that OEM exhaust system. Grab the Yoshimura that I've partially assembled just for the purpose of this weighing part. Let's see if I can't get that to balance. Right about there. Wow, guys. I mean, even without the springs, yeah, with the springs, it's not even going to add anything. That's almost a six pound difference. That is quite a big change for a bike this small with as little horsepower as it does have. It's gonna be a really, really worthwhile mod to uh, remove that OEM exhaust and save all that weight, as well as gaining a little bit of power from the airflow and actually just sounding way, way better than the OEM. So let's go ahead and get this thing installed. All right, a real quick step to make this process a little bit easier is we're gonna actually take that flange that we had previously slipped in between these two halves. We're gonna move that half out a little bit and then come back over here to our chassis mount bolt with the washer that comes with it. We're actually gonna throw that on there. Larger flange side towards the header. We're gonna slip this guy down in, pivot that part up, and that will allow for that bolt to slip right down through both of them. It is a little bit harder once this is on the bike. There's a little bit more to get around there, so I go ahead and do that ahead of time, and then just leave that sitting there. So we're gonna come up to the headers, bring our flange up, match up to those two bolts. Make sure that we're on the other side with that flange and that mount. You don't wanna get it mounted and then get stuck in there. Take our two header nuts and we're going to just hand thread those on. We'll come back and torque everything down once the system is a little bit more installed. We're gonna come back to that bolt, the chassis mount bolt, and we're gonna start hand threading that guy in too. Wanna make sure we're not cross threading here. If you get a little bit of a resistance, that is okay, but you wanna make sure that you're not actually to the point that you need a tool yet. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my socket wrench here. Again, we're not actually gonna torque that down. We just wanna get kinda close to bottom out so that you eliminate some of the free play in that system. Now, at this point, we're gonna go ahead and grab the actual canister, slide that down on, and try and line this mount up to the lower mount, like so. We're gonna take some more Yoshimura hardware, this aluminum spacer, the socket cap bolt, small washer, and then the nut that pairs with that bolt. We're gonna go ahead and insert the bolt through this side, washer on the back, and the nut on the other side of that. This installation is almost complete. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a torque wrench. We're actually gonna torque some of this stuff down. And once that's all done, we're gonna go ahead and throw the springs on, wipe this down with a little bit of denatured alcohol and get this thing started up. All right, so I've gone ahead and grabbed my torque wrench, set it to 20 foot pounds or 27 Newton meters, which is what the Honda service manual will call for. We're gonna torque down the header bolts and then this chassis mount back here. This one's a little bit harder to get to, so what I like to do is I like to insert my extension up above and then come down to the bolt, like so. All right, with those torqued down, we're gonna go ahead and tighten down the actual hanger bolt here that Yoshimura has provided. 
We're using a six millimeter Allen wrench as this is a six millimeter fastener. I like to give that what I call a Brian torque, which is really just go to bottom out and then give it a nice little half turn extra. I think that that's usually about good to keep these exhausts on. So our next step is just gonna be to take the two springs that we have, the spring puller, and we're gonna actually mount the canister to the mid pipe and then the mid pipe to the uh, actual header pipe. That other side is a little bit harder to see, so I'm gonna do this one up front, go around the back, and then get that done. Hook one end on, hook the other end on the spring puller, pull back, and release. All right, with the springs installed, we have one last step, and that's gonna be to go ahead and wipe down our stainless steel header and mid pipe and canister with some uh, denatured alcohol. We like to use that so that the grease from our hands, since I was working without gloves, doesn't get burnt onto the exhaust once we start it up and it comes up to temperature. All right, with our exhaust all wiped down, we're actually ready to go ahead and hear this thing roar. Let's start it up. Wow, guys, did that sound incredible or what? I mean, that in comparison to the stock exhaust, it's, real, it's night and day difference. You do gain a little bit of power in there. We don't have any numbers for you just as of yet. We may get those in the future. But just looking in terms of you know appearance and the weight savings even, this is just such an upgrade over that OEM. I really, really love the way that this carbon fiber canister accents the carbon fiber hugger and the front mudguard that we have pairs really, really nicely. The red pairs with all the red that we have going on on our Womit Tech sliders and the calipers that come on this motorcycle. I just, I can't speak enough about Yoshimira guys. I love everything that they do and I think you will too if you choose to get one. I hope this installation was as quick and easy for you as it was for me. It's really quite simple once you get the OEM exhaust off, only a few more bolts to get this thing back on. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do want to pick up this exhaust or any of the other parts that I've mentioned, you can visit our website at tstindustries.com. If you want to see the installation of any of these parts, whether it's our undertail with integrated tail light, the rear hugger, the front mudguard, the Womit Tech axle sliders, we've got that all covered on our YouTube channel. So go ahead and search us, give us a subscribe, and give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, guys. Get out there and ride.